Natural hazards like tsunamis give little warning ahead of an impending strike. Enhancing early warning systems as well as routinely conducting simulation drills paired with public sensitization campaigns on best practices to mitigate loss and damage in the event of a natural hazard can improve and broaden our disaster preparedness capacity. On March 23rd, St. Lucia was placed on a simulated tsunami warning. The mock tsunami strike was scheduled for 10 a.m. Alert messages were transmitted to the public via television and radio broadcast and other electronic means including SMS text messages, emails and social media. If this were a notice of a real tsunami, what would your reaction be? This is interesting as 809 people or 84.5% said they would run to higher ground and this is what we are looking for. This still means that public sensitization and education needs to continue as 35 respondents or 3.7% indicated they would freeze. And this is what we don't want. The National Emergency Management Organization, NEMO, coordinated the annual tsunami simulation exercise, which was facilitated by Carib Wave. The purpose of the Carib Wave simulation exercise is to validate tsunami preparedness within the region. The annual exercise tests whether early warning systems, evacuation plans, communication systems, as well as public awareness, or it can be a combination of those that I've mentioned. NEMO Director Maria Medad provided a review of St. Lucia's participation, which focused on mass communication processes. The director explained that the preliminary findings indicate St. Lucia's communication processes need improvement. What time did you receive the message? Most persons received the message between 10 a.m. and 11.30 a.m. This in itself needs some urgent attention as timeliness of the receipt of the information is key to save lives and livelihoods in the event of a hazard. Carib Wave is the annual tsunami exercise for the Intergovernmental Coordination Group for the Tsunami and Other Coastal Hazards Warning System for the Caribbean and adjacent regions of the Oceanographic Commission of the United Nations Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organization.